imagine if you had an older Kirby, like say, maybe a D series, or maybe even a 500 series, and it had a shakeout bag. This type of material right here, all familiar with it, see what it looks like. Turned inside out, of course, nice little Kirby logo. And as you can see, here's the little scraper. So you've got this type of a shakeout bag, but for whatever reason, you decide, you know what, I don't really want the shakeout bag. I like the machine, but I don't want to use the shakeout bag. Well, maybe you could use something like this. So, see this right here? You have yourself an mTOR, and this one is from a Dual Sanitronic 50, because of the color. Leave the 80 ones over there. But you notice that in the mouth of the top of the M door, you've got a fill tube. And you have this little adapter that's in here. Here, that's what it looks like from the top. You can see that's glued in. That was 3D printed. And if you open up bottom tray see what it looks like from the inside and see it fills the entire mouth and you have some glue in there so it's solid definitely not going to go anywhere and if you haven't figured it out already this would give you the ability to hook up a Kirby HEPA bag in fact this right here as you can tell is an F connector so you can use the newest HEPA bags, like say charcoal ones, the, um, the red HEPA bags that you've seen on my channel. But what if you could get something like this? So here it is all adapted, right? And then of course you need to go and have a bag for it. Now if you already have an existing bag, you can use your existing bag. But in this case, I have a fresh bag. I think you can see that. So you can see how nicely made this is. Very thick material to be sure. Even has the little emptor holder, the little strap. You've got your bag topper that's carefully hidden underneath here your nice little hold strap and then you have a nice little spring so you can put this on the amp door so what we got to do here is figure out what this thing does on my d80 so you've all seen uh, how well my d80 runs specifically on this airflow box that with the brush roll spinning and the original setup this guy right here we got 125 I think it was 125.0 CFM brush roll spinning and let's compare it obviously this is shakeout here to something that is really easy to adapt if some people have a heritage 2 legend then they might have something that looks like this. Oh, that's much bigger. I have to back up a little bit. So here is a full Heritage 2 Legend setup, amp door and all, fill tube obviously, and we're gonna test it with the charcoal Kirby HEPA bags and see what it pulls on the airflow box. First test we're going to run is no bag emptor at all. And we are at 121 volts almost exactly under load.
okay with nothing whatsoever hooked to the exhaust. We're pulling 137.2 CFM brush roll spinning. All right, let's put the original bag and emptor on and see what we get. All right now we have the factory lovely green OEM bag and emptor in there. I have been using this machine a little bit. I made the best effort possible to blow that thing clean, but I just bet I might be maybe one or two CFM lower than my target 125. Let's see what we get though. <laughs> Okay, 47.44, and that converts to, eh, we're just a little lower than my normal target, 125 that I've gotten a few times before. We're 123.8 CFM. So, got the bag fairly clean, but it's not like it's been washed and then never used. Okay, so next up is going to be the Heritage 2 Legend, and we're going to have the charcoal HEPA bag in there. Show you that we have a brand new, never used for anything, charcoal HEPA bag. These test out very, very well. My part of the This rig looks terrible, but it works well. there as I was turning it off and we are at rounded about 119 CFM so you know in the Kirby Heritage 2 Legends that I have they measure about 120 CFM so it's kind of interesting that in this well I guess it's a similar type of setup right but a much older machine you get just about the same CFM all right so now I have to assemble the bag onto this custom emptor fill tube and let's see what that does okay in this first test with the custom bag and fill tube attached to the emptor I'm actually just going to test it with just the outer bag so I'm not going to do anything with the inner charcoal bag just yet see it's even got a nice little zipper here my KK zipper. So outer bag only, just to see how restrictive it is. This guy is one tight fit this emptor. Right. 
we go. I need to make sure my seal is going funny. Like I said, it's one tight fit, and I even lubricated the seal in there. Right. I think we survived. I've used a bunch of tape on this. All right. So, no inner HEPA bag just yet. Let's see what this does. Seventy, and that equates to 114 CFM. So there's definitely a little bit of a drop over the, uh, well, the original OEM bag. So now I need to put a clean charcoal HEPA bag in there and see what happens. All right, so we have the emptor the fill tube, the outer bag, and the same inner bag that was in the Heritage 2 Legend. So let's see what this pulls. <laughs> and no appreciable difference. So 114.1 CFM, and that's with everything completely converted over to a HEPA bag. So you're going to lose a little bit to start out with. So rather than about 125-ish, maybe down around 114. But remember that the HEPA bag will maintain the airflow over time as the bag fills much better than just the original shakeout bag. So you've seen measurements of these things somewhere, I hope, where as they fill up, they lose airflow like crazy. And this one won't. So there's one thing that I noticed about this particular bag assembly. The fill tube is a bit too long. So if you notice, if I try to pull the bag down, I've got probably, oh, I don't know, maybe four inches or so of just empty space right down here. The bag really should be further down here. And if I go and take the bag out here, and it, it's, still, it's still fully connected to the F connector, you see that the bag, when everything sits flat, is much further forward than the top of the outer fabric bag right here. So there's definitely um, a height issue that needs to be taken care of. So this needs to sit much lower than where it sits right now and simply Shortening this tube will bring the bag down to where it doesn't sit higher than the... The, the inner bag won't sit uh, higher than the outer bag. So this is, this is one suggestion that I would actually make. 